Hey you guys, it's Shamira and gave me me. I have a message for you. I had a crazy dream this morning, okay? Early this morning. Um really, really weird, but I'm gonna get straight into it. If some of you guys have a a best friend, okay, or someone you guys had to let go because you felt like you were enemies. Um, this person, if they haven't already came back around, this person is contemplating they coming back into your life. You know, maybe asking for a second chance, but you guys understand and you know why you cannot give this person another chance, okay? So, <clears throat> let me clear my throat on this one, okay? So, if anyone, uh, like I just described, is coming back into your life, it doesn't matter what they're saying, what they're telling you, what they're showcasing. <clears throat> I had to make sure my phone had no um, distractions, Okay. What they're showcasing is not really what they feel inside. This person, if they feel, if you guys feel like this person just didn't like you or this person hates you, um, yeah, you better believe it. It's still true, okay? So if this person comes back like, yeah, I just want to make amends, you can forgive that person for being shitty towards you. I'm seeing that this person, at the end of, the end of you guys' relationship, you kind of um, drifted away from this person because they kind of show their true colors, but I'm saying that this person comes back apologizing. You can definitely forgive that person. There's nothing wrong with forgiveness. Just to make sure you guys aren't forgiving this person because you're trying to, uh, I would say avoid looking like the bad person or avoid looking messy or to avoid looking like you guys are holding a grudge. You're not holding a grudge if you don't want to, I would say, forgive a person right off the bat, you know, at that moment on the spot. You don't have to do that. You can definitely take your time. But if, you know, you remember them, the person coming back into your life is kind of triggering memories of what they have done. Um, you don't have to tell them to, to their face if you just forgive them, but you can definitely forgive them at a distance, you know. Um, if one day, you know, you decide to forgive them five years from when they, you know, when you guys actually split or whenever they did something wrong to you, you can forgive them whenever you feel like forgiving them. Don't feel like you have to rush and forgive a person um, in a certain amount of time. They come back and ask you for forgiveness. Please do not force it. Don't rush it, okay? And if they look at you as having a grudge, oh, well, they should have did what they did, okay? They can't expect to do certain things or say certain things and expect the same type of openness, okay, and vulnerability and uh, closeness with you or any kind of, I would say, uh, kind gesture from you because they did something wrong okay so you definitely have to hold people accountable for what they do okay and their behavior towards you don't feel like you have to coddle them okay hold their damn hand uh to make them feel better about themselves they did what they did and it's still bothering you um heal on your own time and okay i definitely have to tell someone this because i feel like some of you guys are are, are struggling with that okay struggling with being seen or being viewed a certain way by a person that hurts you, you know, you're, you're basically gaslighting yourself. If you constantly tell yourself, I should be over this by now. No, if it's still bothering you, it's definitely for a reason, okay? Don't allow people to come back into your life just, uh, you know, super open, ready to come back into your life just to do the same thing. Because some of these people, they haven't uh, screwed you over as much as they felt like they should, Okay. So uh, be mindful of that. I'm, I'm hearing that a person right now, if you if you do have a friend or a friend of me who did that, this person definitely spread a lot of lies about you or probably try to shut you up if you guys are an opinionated person. Um, someone who speaks the truth, someone who speaks their soul, who wants someone who uh, bears their soul, share their, their, their uh, guidance, okay, and their wisdom with other people. This person could have uh, tried to ruin your reputation by spreading rumors amongst um people that you guys knew <clears throat> people that you guys knew um mutually okay this is definitely a person that you guys know you can't trust okay so if you have a person like that coming back they're coming to just do some more damage basically um, i definitely would never lie to you guys and tell you to open your arms to people who intentionally over and over i feel like this person this one person in particular showed you guys over and over that they just weren't um, on your team. They just weren't for you, okay? And I keep feeling the need to clear my throat. My throat was absolutely fine, okay? I'm going to take a sip of my, of my tea. Let me take a sip of my tea. Yeah, but I'm seeing that this person, 
could have uh, spread a lot of rumors and lies about you. She tried to damage your reputation so people wouldn't listen to you. I, I, I was, uh, this dream was really weird. I, it's, it's really uh, disturbing. I don't want to trigger some of you guys because it was really uh, dangerous. It was like I was a third party, okay? I was a third party witnessing everything. So, um, because I'm seeing a person cover your mouth, like take the little medicine and try to knock you out and you kind of, uh, dodge it okay so whatever they did it, it didn't really uh bear the results that they were wishing and hoping for like yes now that these people uh know this person see this person could have definitely been uh spreading your secrets okay um any person who when you guys have a disagreement or argument decides to spread your your business or spread rumors on you um after a small little spat that you guys could have gotten over just by a conversation a simple conversation that person is not your friend and that person was looking for a way to kind of, uh, I would say, tarnish your reputation or uh, speak badly on your name in the first place, okay? These are definitely the frenemies. Yeah, any person who has a spat with you, especially a person who loves you and respects you, okay? Respects you guys' connection would never put you in a situation or predicament, okay? That causes you to uh, be hurt in some way, if not physically, emotionally, okay? Or mentally or even socially, okay? Because I'm definitely hearing that this person um, intentionally did this, okay? Or they're they're currently doing this right now. This is a person you guys uh, may have blocked. <coughs> Excuse me. It's definitely a person you guys have blocked. Every time you, you try to even, uh, I would say, talk to this person or confront this person, they would uh, basically try to gaslight you or would... Uh, avoid you you know how people do things to you and they avoid you like you did it to them you know what i'm saying this person definitely showed and showcased that type of behavior towards you and you guys are like what gives i feel like you and this person could have been friends for years i'm seeing seven eight years yeah five seven or eight years yeah you guys got the star in reverse this person uh could be an aquarius okay we have a lot of aquarian placements I'm saying that this person was, was typically or basically, uh, I'm going to say basically, that's the wrong word. Okay, basically, this person was, um, and I'm hearing basic, okay? This person is a basic ass person. This person could could have been jealous of you guys' influence if you guys are um, some sort of influence or you guys just have a lot of influence over a, a lot of people, maybe of the job. This person could have been telling your business about the job. Um and if you guys on social media or have a business or anything, this person will definitely try to tarnish your business, uh, tarnish your name, even, uh, I would say, target customers, okay? Yeah, Eight of Cups. This person was definitely uh, not emotionally invested in you, okay? This person comes off as being really cold. Emotionally manipulative, this person could definitely uh, be a attention seeker, okay? They were definitely uh, afraid of you guys' uh, power, okay? You guys' influence that you had over other people. And whenever they did what they did, spread your business, told your secrets, it didn't work, okay? Like I said, it, the, the results uh, didn't pan out. The effect of what they did didn't pan out or it didn't play out the way they hoped it would, okay? I'm definitely saying to this person, yeah, they, they, they have a lot of... Uh, air quality this person is is one of those people who you can call a mastermind not in a good way but they use their intelligence they use uh, all their manipulative ass ways for basically screwing people over okay betraying people this person could have a lot of emotional issues i'm seeing that they could have some sort of uh <clears throat> personality disorder where you guys is uh, personality, okay? You guys' uh, personality is authentic, absolutely authentic to yourself, okay? You guys are really comfortable in who you are. Um, and that, that is in some way why people kind of gravitate towards you, okay? They kind of uh, lean towards you more, okay? And this person doesn't like it. This person could look at you as being beneath them in some way. Yeah. It's something about your influence this person didn't like. They felt like attention came to you really naturally, really organically. 
okay, effortlessly. But when it comes to them, they had to do a lot of things. Uh, and I'm seeing that this person had to uh, emotionally manipulate people. I don't feel like this person is truly an empath. This person comes off as being really, I would say, shy, maybe meek. That is a, a, a some sort of a persona that they put on for the public, for other people to accept them or to trust them. And then this person goes behind people back and basically um, manipulate them or betray them in some way. So this person could have been really, really close to you guys. Yeah, they came out sideways, okay? The card came out sideways with the Ace of Wands. Yeah. This person was definitely trying to uh, tarnish you guys' reputation. But like I said, this person comes off as being really trustworthy, really sweet, really innocent. But they only do it to keep people close to them so they can, in some way, um, learn their secrets. Okay, I'm looking at this moon in the Eight of Cups card. Okay, they learn learn their secrets, okay, and, and hold it against them later on. So if you guys ever got into a spot, I'm seeing that this person definitely uh, use your secrets against you to try to turn other people away from you, to get people to view you in a certain way. You guys were like, you know what, I, I got to ignore this front. I, I feel like you guys didn't uh, truly see it for what it was, but I feel like maybe someone, maybe you guys' mutual friends told you about it. And you guys realize that you can't trust this person, so you guys definitely walked away from them, okay? This is definitely not somebody that you guys uh, were... I mean, I don't think you guys were, I would say, super emotionally attached to, but you guys were close with this person. You would do a lot of things with this person, maybe party. I'm, I'm seeing uh, you would do each other's hair. Yeah, you guys were almost like uh, siblings, okay, if you, if you are feminine. If you guys are masculine, yeah, you just guys to pick up people together, okay? You just do, did a lot of fun things together with this person, okay? On the outside, it was like you guys were just like two peas in a pod. You guys couldn't be separated, but behind closed doors, this person uh, secretly, emotionally loathed you, okay? Loathed is definitely that word. Uh, yeah, they definitely loathed you. They hated you, okay? I, I wouldn't say hate is a word. They didn't hate you. It was beyond hate. They just didn't like you or they don't like you. It's definitely a person you guys uh, could have had around you recently. But if this person tries to come back after what they did um, and, and make amends, please don't open this. Uh, please don't allow this person to come back in with open arms, okay? Um, I'm, I'm looking at you guys have to... Uh, use use your, your your discernment when dealing with this person, picking up on this person's energy, because I feel like you guys are really empathic. You know, listen to the smart ass uh, snide remarks that comes out of their mouth. Or uh, for some of you guys, this person could never give you a compliment. They could never, uh, I would say, boost you up or even support you when it comes to when it comes to uh, achieving certain things. Okay. Uh, maybe reaching certain goals. I'm saying if you ever told this person that you uh, something good happened to you, it was always oh really? It was always some dry ass comment. This person is yeah, they're, they 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 definitely could be a sociopath. Okay, they feed off of other people's emotions or try to mimic other people's emotions to try to seem believable. And I'm hearing for some of you guys, this person could have competed with you when it comes to everything that you did in life. Okay. But if you guys do have some sort of influence, I'm seeing this person, um, even though you guys are over it, maybe you guys did walk away a few years ago. I'm, I'm seeing it uh, could have been eight months ago. Uh, this person is still at it, okay? Still trying to figure out ways to destroy you. So if you guys have some sort of social platform, um, maybe this person is out here, you know, reporting you, maybe flagging your stuff, Okay. Um, like I said, harassing your customers, um, making fake accounts in your name, try to pretend like it's you, okay? They're still not over whatever you guys, uh, whatever was the reason that caused you guys to split, okay? Yeah, you guys got the, the five of swords in reverse, yeah. 
Yeah, this person can, can, cannot get over you guys' disconnect, okay? They, 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 they can't lose. They feel like they can't lose. This person is definitely a sore loser. They felt like since you walked away and probably blocked them, um, they feel a need to get revenge, okay? So I'm seeing that this person definitely is um, still trying to figure out a way um, to get you back. Yeah, Queen of Wands. <laughs> yeah, this person is on some get back shit, okay? So... Um, yeah, use your discernment. Look back on those memories. Don't don't get hooked in and, 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 and tied down to uh, those old memories. They try to walk you down memory lane. Remember when we did this and we did that? Yeah. And and then really think about those times when y'all did certain things. In this person's mind, they're, they're trying to get you to look at all the good parts of a fucked up ass, how they were, how their fucked up ass behavior was towards you. Like I said, I'm seeing that whenever you guys told this person about something good, they would never congratulate you or they would... Um, never really give you a straightforward compliment. It was always like, uh, say if you guys got a new car or a new house. Yeah, I like it, but it's kind of little. It's kind of small. You know what I'm saying? Or you guys got a nice little dress. Yeah, I like that color, but not on you. You understand know what I'm saying? It doesn't compliment your skin tone. Always trying to say some sideways ass shit, okay? Or I like your person, but they seem like a blob. You know what I'm saying? Like always trying to say something. I'm seeing this person is really... Um, uh, probably still a little more emotionally immature and hasn't grown since you guys split. So you're not really missing anything, okay? And these wanted to flip up, okay? Yeah, page of wands. Immature ass person, yes. And you guys, this person feels like you you two aren't the same. Queen of wands and page of wands, this person knows that they're, they're not on your level emotionally, mentally. Um, even socially, they're just not on your level. And this person will do whatever it takes to, in some way, get you to be knocked down off your little high horse, okay? This person is definitely jealous. Yeah, they're a sore loser. Definitely a sore loser. Okay? And high priestess in reverse, okay? They're hoping that you guys uh, don't pick up on their fuckery or their bullshit, okay? And I'm so sorry to be cursing you guys, but... This, this this is how it is. Okay, this is what I'm feeling right now. Yeah, definitely use your intuition when it comes to this person. Use your common sense. And also, like I said, once again, I have to say it again. Do not get hooked on. Uh, walking down memory lane with this person. Really see those, those events for what it was, okay? Yeah, because I feel like they're going to distort the, the memories. As each memory was so great and good, and they don't understand why you guys let them go and walk away, and why you guys walked away from them. But you guys have to remember and have to understand why uh, you walked away from a certain person. You know why you walked away. Yeah, don't be uh, bamboozled and tricked. Okay, don't let them pull in your heartstrings. Hella cards and flipped over. I don't know what. We got the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I'm coming to bring some bullshit ass. Yeah. Don't get disillusioned, okay? Yeah. And they might even um, come back to you and, and try to ask you out for drinks. Like, hey, let's go get some drinks. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely seeing this person is trying to get you to uh, be vulnerable, to open up, to not see whatever they have coming, coming, okay? You guys got the three of cups in reverse. Yeah, this is definitely a person that you shouldn't be. Uh, trusting when it comes to your emotion, when it comes to your heart, opening up there. And if they do come back, they're basically trying to see where you are in life so they can try to one-up you. Because if this is a person that you used to, to in some way, uh, compete with you, this is definitely a person who doesn't mind continuing competing with you, okay? They're always going to try to one-up you or use whatever you told them about, yeah, about um you. Use it to tell other people. You guys get eight of wands in reverse, yeah. This is definitely a person that you guys blocked. Yeah. You guys got the judgment. <laughs> okay. The judgment card. Yeah, it was definitely something that you guys felt like you needed to do. You should have did. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. It, it might have took you guys a little while to block this person because I feel like you guys really cared about this person. Um. Some of you even felt sorry for this person. You kind of saw this person's behavior towards you, but you kind of in denial. Like, I don't think this person meant this. Being a person that you are, the sweet, kind person that you are, this person couldn't find a reason to hate you. Um, but this person definitely created a reason to hate you. So if you guys are getting dreams about this person, just know that 
they're pulling on your energy trying to figure out how they're going to come back to you and try to re-emerge in your life but um i think it's, it's a mercury it's still mercury retrograde i think it is okay yeah it definitely took you guys a long time to decide whether you want to let this person go or not and and whatever you guys did if you blocked this person it was definitely the right thing to do okay so if you guys are trying to uh consider you guys are sitting here considering allowing this person back in mm -hmm. go back to those memories okay because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you guys can uh when you guys reminisce about these certain memories the truth comes to light okay you can truly see things for what it was yeah because i'm seeing you guys you guys kind of know all right so no matter what this person is telling you what they're saying or sweet nothings or how nice and, and kind they seem to be. And for others of you, this person could have uh, could have children. I'm saying this person has children. They're going to try to use their children uh, as a pawn to try to make you trust them more. Like, hey, can you come out on a play date with my children? Bring your children. Don't do it, okay? Please don't do it. <clears throat> and that's all I'm really getting for you guys, okay? I'm going to leave it. Because it's way past my 15 minute mark. I really try to keep these short, but I had to tell you guys this message. If you're thinking about this person, if they're thinking about sliding their ass back, uh, the answer is no, and it still should be no. It's a reason why people are in the past, you guys, okay? I'm definitely going to clear my throat, and if I feel the need, I'm definitely going to put some more out today. Because uh, I still have a few more things I feel like I need to say. Maybe I'll even do a pick a card, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.